Hello guys, so in today's daily dose session, we are going to talk about the miners rule that is a very important topic for machine design. It is also said to be cumulative fatigue failure. To understand this concept, I am taking an example like you know that in the cities like Delhi where there is more pollution, average life of human being is less. I am taking arbitrary data to make you understand. I am considering the city environment condition like a stress capital N as the average life and small N as the life we are living at that place. Let us say for Delhi 60 years is the average age. You are going to live 20 years. So you have used one third of your life in the Delhi. Then my dear similarly here 75 you are living 25 in Dehradun. So one third you are using here also. Okay. So one third you are using here also. Then my dear let us say in some hilly area the average life is 87. So whatever left one third you would be leaving here, that would also be small n3 by capital N3. You can find out it would be coming out to be 29 years. Okay. So what I want to say that whenever you are not living in one area properly, then my dear, you have to find out the total life as a summation of these. What do you mean by that? This summation is not 60, not 75, not 87. Why? Because you are living sometime in this city, sometime in this and sometime in this. Similarly, if we are talking about a component, if a component is subjected to different loading at different different condition. So for that, you can use SN curve to find out the life for a particular stress. Corresponding to a particular stress sigma 1, you will be having a life N1. Corresponding to a life of sigma 2, you would be having a life of N2. So similarly, if you have a life of N1 for sigma 1, like 60 year for Delhi, but you are living only 20 years. So you have used N1 by capital N1 part of your life at sigma 1. Similarly at sigma 2 you have used N2 by capital N2. Similarly at others. Overall when you will be adding all these life. It should be equals to 1 because zindagi na milegi dobara life is 1. So the summation of these 3 will be coming out to be 1. Like here 1 by 3, 1 by 3, 1 by 3. So my dear, if we know that total life of the person is this much. So if you know the life of the component is the capital N, then you can write small n1 as alpha 1 times of n, small n2 as alpha 2 times of n. And you can put the value of n1 into n3. You will get this equation. This is also the minus rule or cumulative fatigue failure. Here alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha 3 are the fractions of life. So let us solve a question now on this. This is a new type of, uh, you can say, concept from which question have never been asked till now, but that's why it is important. Life of a component under heavy load is 100 hours, while under normal load is 1000 hours. Then how many hours it can be operated at normal load if it is found to be operated for 10 hours on heavy load? So if sigma 1 is heavy load, at this the life is 100 hours, and he have been there for 10 hours. So one tenth of the life he have already spent here. So they are asking you at sigma 2 how many number of hours if 1000 hours is the life. So I will be using the same equation I was talking about and I will be getting the end to, to be 90 hours. So guys come, uh, come and join for every daily dose because every day we are coming with this wonderful concept you will be getting in the exam. Goodbye stay tuned with us.